David A. Robertson is the award-winning author of books for young readers, including When We Were Alone, winner of the 2017 Governor General's Literary Award. Dave is a member of the Norway House Cree Nation and currently lives in Winnipeg. He joins us to discuss how memories of his family inspired his latest work, On the Trap Line. Hi there, my name is David A. Robertson. Um, I am really pleased to be here with you to talk about On the Trap Line. Thanks to the Tale and Tales Festival for inviting me um, to your monitors. Um, and I just wanna tell you a little bit about the book and what it's about and where it came from. Um, and quickly before I start, I would be remiss not to talk to talk about Julie Flett, who illustrated the book. Um, and we both have connections to Norway House Cree Nation, which is um, the reserve I had in mind when I wrote on the trap line. And so, and we also worked on When We Were Alone Together, my first picture book. And so I was really, really excited to work with her again. Um, this book means a, a lot to me, and I'll tell you uh, uh, why in a few minutes. Um, but there's really no one else I would rather have worked on uh, with it than Julie Flett. Um, so On the Trap Line is just a nice, quiet, uh, gentle, uh, intergenerational story. It's about a grandfather and a grandson. And the grandfather takes the grandson uh, first up to his reserve, the place where he lived. Um, and it's the first time the, grand the grandchild has ever seen uh, a reserve before. And it uh, was important for me to show the different sort of connections uh, that the, the child makes between living in the city and living on reserve up north. Um, and to dispel a lot of um, stereotypes or misconceptions about um, what it's like to live on reserve. Um, he, the things that he notices are things that a child would notice and I think everybody should notice uh, because ch children see things, uh, the world differently. And I think they see things, maybe see the world a little better. Um, and so they notice all the space, they notice the closeness of community, um, and a lot of just, uh, you know, really th things that make uh, reserve life and uh, beautiful. And uh, that was very important for me to, to talk about in the book. Um, but the main part of the book is the trap line. And the grandfather brings the grandchild out, grandchild out onto the land and talks about what it was like to live there. Because um, the grandfather grew up not just on reserve, but mostly uh, on the land. Um, by the water and so the grandfather teaches the grandchild and I feel like this is the one of the ways in which we learn most about ourselves and about our families is by uh, listening and learning from our elders um, and my dad used to call elders uh, grandparents um, and so that was something that was very important for me to show not only just like what it was like to live on the land but the connections and things that we can learn from the older generations who have so much knowledge, who are knowledge keepers and who pass that knowledge down. Um, and so, so that's what this book is really about. It's just a, it's just a kid learning uh, from his grandfather. And, um, and so this, this book um, was inspired by uh, a real life situation, a real life experience uh, in my own life, uh, where two years ago or three years ago, um, my dad, asked me to take him up to his trap line. Um, it was a place that he had never been before. He had never been for uh, about 70 years and he wanted to go back one last time. And so we went to a place called Blackwater and in the, on the trap line, you'll see that in one, in one page, um, you'll see the black water um, that surrounds the trap line, um, just like in real life. And so we went there together and just like the grandson, um, I learned from my dad about what it was like to live on the land and the chores that he had, um, the closeness of family, um, uh, how he was, how he provided for the family when he became a little older. And um, it was something that was really um, important for us in our relationship, but also uh, it became and has become another home to me um, because I've always felt as soon as I stepped on, onto the land, I felt so connected to it. And, um, and so it was a really special moment uh, for my father and I, we spent the day out there. And after we spent the day out there, we were kind of taking the boat back to the community. And I thought, uh, I need to write this. And it became eventually a memoir, which came out uh, last year. And then 
also for kids this picture book on the trap line and the only different the only real difference i made about their time on the land was that i made the uh, myself a little kid which isn't that much of a stretch because i can be pretty mature imm immature um but other than that it's just um it's based on that experience and uh, and because i lost my father uh, about a year and a half ago um not that long after we went to the trap line together it is a very special book to me um, but I also think that as much as it's special for me, um, I feel like it'll be special for a lot of people because the, not, not just what they'll learn, but um, I think a lot of people will be able to connect with the emotions of the book and um, really just the quiet beauty that the book talks about that we should all have in our hearts um, and in our minds. So thank you for listening. I really, really hope you enjoy the book. Uh, I can't wait for you to read it. And uh, again, thank you to Telling Tales for asking me to be here with you. Why not upload your writing, your videos, and your ideas to the Creativity Club on the Telling Tales website? Thank you for joining us. See you again. <laughs>